Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. So, nandito na naman tayo para sa panibago nating lesson. So, good day po sa lahat. Naway may matutunan po kayo ngayon sa bago nating lesson. Ang topic po natin ngayon ay product of binomial and a trinomial. So, under pa rin siya ng special product. Okay, product of binomial and a trinomial. So, x plus y, that is binomial. Binomial po ito. Tapos ito po ay trinomial. Kaya tinawag po siyang binomial and a trinomial. So, ano kaya ang magiging product nitong product of binomial and a trinomial? To get the product of this form is simply the sum of cubes of the binomial terms. So, yung cube ng first term nito, cube dito, at saka yung cube ng second term. Ngayon, kung plus to, plus din po yung nasa gitna. Okay, kung minus to, minus din po. Since plus to, kaya plus po yung ginamit natin. So, x times x times x, that is x cube. And then, y times y, that is y cube. How about this one? So, ganun din, to get the product of this form is simply the difference of cubes of the binom binomial terms. So, x times x times x, that will be x cubed, and then minus, and then cube of y. So, y cubed. Okay, we have an, uh, we have an uh, example. So, a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So, po yun. Ayan. So, malalaman mo kapag uh, special product siya, kung yung first term in squared mo at a squared ang sagot, and then kapag binultiply mo yung first and second, which is a times b, that's a, b, tapos gagawin mo lang siyang negative, so tugma naman sa second term niya, tapos yung last term niya is squared ng second term, so b squared. So, kapag yun po yung partner ng binomial, meaning ang magiging sagot niyan is sum of, uh, sum of cube of binomials. Okay, so in expanded way or sa, sa, sa according to the pattern, so ang gagawin natin, cube ni first term tsaka cube ni second term. So, a times a times a, that is a cube. And then plus, kasi plus yun, then b times b times b, that is b cubed. So this will be your final answer. Ayan. Okay, another example is x plus 2 times x squared uh, minus 2x plus 4. So pag in squared natin yung x, x times x, x squared yung sagot. Ayan, yun yung first term. And then kapag ang second term naman, multiply natin yung first and second. So, x times 2, that is 2x. Then yung plus, kung plus yan, kabalik ta rin yung magiging sign ng middle term. Since plus po ito, magiging negative po yun. Negative 2x. And then 2 times 2, that is 4. Kung tumugma siya, uh, meaning, yan po ay product, ang um, hanahanap po ay product of binomial and trinomial. So, ang gagawin natin, i-cube natin to and then cube ito. So, x times x times x, that is x cubed, and then plus yon kaya plus din siya. And then, 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. So, plus 8. Kung plus to, plus din yun. Ngayon, plus, pag plus yung ginamit sa binomial, plus din yung magiging sagot. And then, i-cube natin yung first Tatlong beses natin i-multiply yung first term and then tatlong beses din i-multiply ang second term or last term. So, the answer is x cubed plus 8. Next, 2x plus 3 times 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, kapag in-squared natin yung 2x, 2x times 2x, that will be 4x squared. So, tugma do sa first term ng trinomial. And then, mumultiply natin yung first and second, 2x times 3, that is 6x. 
And then yung plus, gagawin natin negative at tumugma doon sa middle. And then, 3 times 3, that is 9, at tumugma naman doon sa last. Kapag ganyan po yung nangyari, uh, doon tayo sa pattern. So, i-cube natin yung first term, which is 2x times 2x times 2x, that is 8x cubed. And then, yan. And then, i-cube naman din natin yung last term. 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27. Kung ano po yung uh, symbol ng nasa gitna ng binomial, yun din po ang gagamitin. So, plus 27. Okay, how about this one? M minus N times M squared plus MN plus N squared. So, check natin. Kapag in-square ko yung M, that will be M squared. So, tugma sa first term. M times N, that is MN. Then, since minus yan, gagawin ko plus yung middle. So, tama na naman siya. And then, i-double ko o i-square ko yung last term. Negative n times negative n, that is positive n squared. So, tugma. So, meaning, gagamitin natin yung pattern. m times m times m, that is m cubed. And then, minus to, kaya minus din yung kasunod. n times n times n, that is n cubed. So, m cubed minus n cubed. Okay? So, that will be the final answer. Okay, another example, y minus 4 times y squared positive 4y positive 16. So, squared natin yung y. y times y is y squared. Yun po yung sagot ng first term. y times negative 4, that is negative 4y. Pero since nasa gitna siya ng trinomial na ipapartner sa kanya, gagawin natin positive yung negative. So, that will be positive 4y. 4, 4y. Pero pag yan ipositive, ito yun naman ang negative. So, yung magka-opposite sila. And then, negative 4 times negative 4, that is 16. So, tugma silang dalawa, yung trinomial sa, sa sagot na ginawa natin sa binomial. So, yung pattern po ang gagamitin natin, yung first term ay cube. Ito cube natin, pati yung last term. So, y times y times y, that is y cube. And then, negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, that is negative 64. So, that will be the answer. So that's all for the cube of binomial. Thank you and God bless.